All right, so basically you've probably seen something like this before, one plus two plus three, all the way up to 99 plus 100. But how do you solve this? So there's a simple pattern that you have to need to know. Basically, whenever you're adding something in a row, for example, let's just say you have two plus four plus six plus eight, all the way up to 100, right? It's basically the same problem, but how do you solve both of these problems? So basically the simple solution is you pair them up. As you can see, one plus 100 is 101. 2 plus 99 is 101. What's 3 plus 98? 101. So how can we use that 101? 101 is your magic number in this case. And then because we paired them up, we find out how many pairs there are. Simply all we have to do is find out how many numbers there are and divide by 2 because that's what a pair is. Total number divided by 2. So how many numbers are there from 1 to 100? In order to find this, we do 100 minus 1, which is equal to 99. And then we add 1 to that. That's how you find the amount of numbers in anything. So in total, there are 100 numbers from 1 to 100. That's kind of logical. And we divide that by 2 because that's the number of pairs are. 100 divided by 2 gives us 50. So it means your solution has to be 101 times 50, which is going to give you an answer of 5,050. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to that 100 is going to give you 5,050. Well, how about the second question that we just created, 2 plus 4 plus 8? So this is kind of the same thing, except they're all even numbers. So we apply the same rules. We find out the pairing. So 2 plus 100 gives us 102. And 4 plus, what's the number before this? It's going to be 98. What's 4 plus 98? It's also 102. How about 6 plus 96? 102. So that means our magic number is 102. Now, how do we find the number of pairs are? Because we can't just subtract, right? Because 100 minus 2 is going to give us 98 plus 1, which is 99. And we definitely know that if it goes up by 2s, it's not going to be 99. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do a little bit of math. So basically, these are all even numbers, right? So it means there are half as many numbers because we're not counting the odd numbers, right? We're not counting 1, 3, 5, 7. So there are half as many numbers in this set as our first set. So half of that, half of 100 numbers is going to be 50. So there are going to be 50 numbers in this set, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, all the way up to 100. That's 50 numbers, right? We're going to use reasoning to get that. So there are 50 numbers in total. Each pair has two numbers. So 50 divided by 2 going to give us 25. So in total, we have 25 pairs. Matching number 102 times number of pairs, 25. What's that equal to? 102 times 25 is going to give us 10, 5, and then 4, 0, 2, giving us a total solution of 2,550 as our total sum. As you can see right here, this is sort of half of that, but not, <clears throat> not exactly. And that's exactly how you find the solutions. So do me a favor, if you can, add up 3 plus 6 plus 9 all the way up to 102, and tell me the answer in the comments. If you get it, I'll give you a quick like, and if you can't, rewatch this video and figure out how to do it. I'll see you guys next time, and have a good time.